Matt Damon hosted Saturday Night Live for the second time in 16 years on Saturday, and rather than going the goofy route in his monologue, the actor instead recounted memories of his late father just one year after his death. Addressing the gathered audience in New York City at the start of the sketch show, Damon, 48, said his father used to tell him and his brother Kyle Damon, 51, as children that they could watch SNL if they could stay awake until the late start time. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. So, week after week, I tried to stay up and it wasn't until I was 8 years old that I made it all the way to the end," Damon said. He continued, I probably didn't get all the jokes, but I laughed at everything that my dad laughed at. And although it was way past our bedtime, my dad knew there was nothing more important in the world than to laugh with the people that you love. My father passed away a year ago yesterday, and tonight my big brother is in Boston right now watching with his two boys, and all my kids are here, including my youngest daughter Stella, who happens to be 8 years old," he said, before injecting a little humor into the sentimental story, so my wife Luciana Barroso and I told her that she can stay up all the way until a M and she can watch Saturday Night Live. And she said, who's hosting? After pausing for audience laughter, he continued, and I said me, your dad, Matt Damon, and she said, who's the musical guest? Concluding on a heartfelt note, Damon, a father of four, proposed a toast. Said Damon, here's to all the moms and dads who let their kids stay up too late for all the right reasons. Damon's dad, Kent Damon, died on December 14, 2017, the actor's rep told the Boston Globe at the time. He had been battling cancer for several years, revealing publicly in 2011 that he was in remission from the rare blood disease multiple myeloma. It's been a slow unfolding, my dad's sick, so that's been a process we're going through," the actor told Extra earlier that month.